Today I'm repairing a MP250 Zoom from Coef. This one in particular uh, that have a problem with the shutter doesn't uh, work properly. Seems that we are missing a phase. So I might just show you. So I only have the shutter connected, disconnected everything else. And it, it's just uh, not moving at all. Uh, when you have uh, such a problem, I need to test is rather is a board problem or if it is a cable or motor problem. So to eliminate half or of the um, the circuit and make sure that half is working, I will plug those motor to another um, plug on the board. For example, the color wheel. That way, if it does work. That means that all the cabling, all the motor, etc. is working perfectly fine and we have a problem with the driver. So I'm going to just do that. So now the dimmer is plugged into the um, uh, color wheel driver output. So now it's working fine. It is not missing a step. Of course, it's not the right driver, so it's doing uh, things that the shutter shouldn't do. So now I know all the cabling is uh, doing uh, fine. I will swap the driver from the dimmer and the driver from the color wheel, for example. Swap those two to see whether it's a driver problem or a board issue. Also, I like to mark the one I am testing out. Like, for example, this is the dimmer one. And actually, this is not the color wheel driver, it's the gobo wheel. Uh, just mistake my uh, terrible writing here. Anyway, I'm doing this video on the go. Uh, so, be very careful when you remove those, as uh, even though the package is in itself is not uh, that uh, fragile, the pin uh, are very uh, easy to bend, and when you try to straighten them, can break, uh, break them and it's quite difficult to repair after. So be careful to the way it goes. So you have a little little notch here on the left that goes on the notch here. So this is it. And with now both uh, gobo wheel and a shutter plugged in, I put them in the middle that way I can see the movement. Oh, this is not good. It's not a driver problem. Because this is working on the shutter driver and it's moving fine. But the shutter is still not working and it's on this one which is a sure working driver. Uh, so we have a problem with the board or maybe a uh, maybe a dry solder, so I will try to investigate that. And guess what? It was just a simple resistor, which uh, I think it's a fusible resistor that just blow on this one. So I replaced it with a terrible budged in uh, big resistor because I don't have any SMD one. And with just a little bit of sticky tape, I can mask the solder. That way the legs doesn't touch the um, capacitor nearby. I can put this in here and Let's test it. And now, moment of truth. Nice. So that's one done. Now I got two other to work with. Wish me good luck.